Okay, this is the P2 paper from October 2022. It's question number three, and this is a sequences and series question. You can see we've got some sigma notation on it. There's going to be some arithmetic series later on, but let's make a start. And these questions are often quite interesting. The examiners have uh, got some imagination when they're doing these questions. Let's look at part A. And A says, well... A to the n is equal to cos squared n pi over 3. And then what they want us to work out is a1, a2, and a3. Well, a1 is going to be cos squared 1 pi over 3. So cos squared pi over 3. Well, cos pi over 3 is equal to a half. So cos squared pi over 3 is a half squared, and that works out to be equal to a quarter. Part 2, A2, is equal to cos squared 2 pi over 3. So cos squared 2 pi over 3. Cos 2 pi over 3, again, do it on the calculator, works out to be equal to minus a half. So minus a half squared is also going to give me a quarter. And then for part 3, a3 is equal to cos squared 3 pi over 3. I'm not going to write that, I'm going to write pi. But cos squared 3 pi over 3, cos squared pi. Well, cos pi is equal to minus 1. So we've got minus 1 squared, which is then going to equal to 1. And the thing to be aware of this then for the later parts of the question is if we go any further, we're just going to get repeats of that. We're going to get cos squared 4 pi over 3, and that will work out to be equal to a quarter. 5 will work out to be equal to that. And so we're just going to get this um, sequence of numbers just keep repeating all the time, and that's key to when we're doing the second part. But anyway, that, that's part, part uh, A done. Part B then says, hence find the exact value of this sum. So let's write this down. Then there's quite a bit of work to do within this one. So the sum is the sum of or n equals 1 to 50 of n plus cos squared n pi over 3. And it's the sum of all of that that we want. So first of all, let's break that up into the sum from n equals 1 to 50 of n, and then the sum of n equals 1 to 50 of the cos squared n pi over 3. And let's just do them both separately, and then we'll worry about what they are. So if I do the sum of n equals 1 to 50 of n, what that means is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 going all the way up to 50. Well that's okay I can just treat that as an arithmetic progression and let's work out that one. Uh, if I want to do that then this is simply an arithmetic series here. A is equal to 1, D is equal to 1, N is equal to 50 and if I want the sum of those first 50 terms remember Sn is equal to n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So S50 is going to be equal to 50 over 2. Two lots of a, two lots of 1, just 2. Uh, 50 minus 1 is going to be 49 times one there, and then just work that out in the calculator. That works out to be 1275. So that's, um, going back to this one, that's going to be this bit here. Or in other words, that's going to be the total of that bit. I haven't yet looked at this bit here, so I'm going to now do that. So the sum from n equals 1 to 50 of cos squared n pi over 3. And just take a little bit of time for this because we already know what this is. This is a quarter plus a quarter 
plus one, and then just repeated that, a quarter plus a quarter plus one, and we're just gonna keep going with that, but I need to do it for 50 terms. So if I need to do it for 50 terms, if you just do um, 50 divided by three, or rather 48 divided by three, I'm gonna get 16 lots of this, 16 lots of a quarter plus a quarter plus one, because 16 threes make 48. And then on top of that, once I've got those ones, I'll have plus a quarter plus a quarter. That's the 40, 49th and 50th terms. The next one would be one, but that, but I don't need that. Okay, so 60 lots of that's, And then this is the 49th term. And this is the 50th term. So what does that all work out to be? Well, it's just 16 lots of a quarter plus a quarter plus one, and then add on another quarter plus a quarter. Well, you can just do all that, just multiply all that out and work that out, and it works out to something relatively straightforward. That works out to be 49 over two. So that's the second bit. So now, putting all that work together, n equals one to 50 of n plus cos squared n pi over three, Worked out to be the sum of n, which was two one two seven five plus the sum of the trig function, which is forty nine over two, and then whatever that all works out to be one two nine nine point five. Apparently, let's just go back to the same thing about decimal places. No, it just says make your method clear. Hopefully, I've made my method clear there, and I should get full marks for that. Hope that makes sense to everyone.